Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Mitzel for those of you who do not know and welcome. So today we're back with skincare. Woo! In this video, I'm gonna show you my skincare routine. I'm gonna show you my nighttime skincare routine as well as my morning skincare routine. Routine, routine. What? I'm gonna start with the night course uh, I just filmed this tutorial I think this one is gonna go first and then the other one sorry if you can hear the echo and the bad lighting <laughs> let's get started uh, but first don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would help me out a lot and let's get started first I'm gonna put my hair like in a low ponytail and then I grab these clips to keep my curtain bags I don't even know what they're called anymore so just keep them away Okay, first thing, it's, I'm gonna take my contacts off, so I'm gonna do that off camera. Hold up. Now that I can see, let's get started. So, first step of my nighttime skincare routine is taking my makeup off. I like to use a cleansing balm. My favorite one is from the Inky List. This is the old cleansing balm. My skin type is uh, dry and super sensitive, so I try to look for products that don't have any fragrance and um, yeah, that's basically what I look for. I don't like to try a lot of new products just because my skin is super sensitive so anything could break me out. And so I don't like to try a lot of products. I love trying new skincare, but I need to be very careful with what I put on my face. So I just apply a bit to my hand and just like warm it up and then apply it to my face. And this is just gonna melt the whole makeup. And also I'm a big believer that you don't need to spend like a lot of money on your skincare. I mean, the Inky List, um, the Ordinary Serapy are one of my favorite, like, uh, higher, no, not higher, but less expensive brands, and it works so great for me. So this is just melting off all the makeup. I even do this if I'm not wearing any makeup, just because I do wear sunscreen every day, so goodbye, beautiful makeup. And then I go in with my lashes. Be very careful around your eyes. Also get everything off. <laughs> look like a crazy person. Okay, now that we look like this, I'm gonna rinse it off and then go with my next step. Now my face is wet, I'm gonna go in with my cleanser. I usually use this one. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. It's very, uh, it takes, I think it takes off any excess makeup that it, the cleansing balm maybe did not remove and it really cleans my skin. It feels very fresh. I, it doesn't feel like, you know when you wash your face and after it just feels like, like your skin, <laughs> like it's taking out the life out of your skin. This one doesn't. But I just bought this new one from the Inky List. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser and I've actually been enjoying this very much. This one is a bit more hydrating. It doesn't uh, make any like bubbles. And I'm like glad because again, I have really dry skin. So this helps not to hydrate skin at the same time. I mean, I'm gonna wash it off, but yeah, it's been working great. I've been using it for like a week. You really enjoy it, look. Very, very nice. I'm just cleaning my neck and just rinse it off. All right, we move to my bedroom. I love this little corner in the back, but I think you need to focus on me, camera. So I washed off the cleanser now in my room. I usually just keep all my products here in my room, not in my bathroom, just because it's easier for me. First, I go with this. This is the first Aid Beauty Face Radiance Pads. I don't use them every single day. I just use them maybe once or twice a week, maybe once if I remember, to be honest. And this is kind of like a exfoliate. I also go in with my ordinary lactic acid, but this one is a bit faster. And <laughs> sometimes I'm a bit lazy. So this one just works better for me. Just go over my face and just gives a beautiful glow to my face, especially after wearing makeup. And for every day, I don't wear like a lot of makeup, but there's still some makeup, but I think it's from the edges <laughs> of my face. Okay. Kind of let 
that dry a bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with my niacinamide from the Inky List. I love this stuff because it's a bit more hydrating than others. So I just go like with three little drops and I focus it mainly like on my cheeks and anywhere I get red or where I produce oils. I mean, I'm <laughs> a bit more on the dry side, so I don't produce oil. Niacinamide is great to help control that oil, excess oil, or to reduce any redness, and that's why I mainly use it. And it's great, I love it. So you get a bit down to my neck. Now we're gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid, but hyaluronic acid has to be applied on wet skin. So this is an extra step. I mean, I could just go in with my niacinamide because it's a bit wet, but I like to add some thermal water. This is by Abin. And I have a big bottle. I could just get the small <laughs> bottle, but I don't know where I got this. I think I got it in Tijuana, which is, I think, a little bit less expensive. But I'm just, I mean, you could also just get some water and spray it, but this one, me being bushy. Okay, now that my <laughs> skin is wet, I'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid. And this is by The Ordinary. And I love this. I think I go a bit more intense in my nighttime skincare routine just because your skin goes under, um, like it reproduces itself at night. So I think that's why I go a little bit more intense than in the morning. My friends say that I go intense in both, so. But I've seen all the bow beauty secrets <laughs> and some of them are a bit too intense. I don't know if they do that every day, they apply like um sheet mask and i'll do all this crazy stuff i'm like girl how do you have time <laughs> look at that it's so juicy now i'm gonna go in with this this is the ordinary caffeine solution it's just like an eye serum <laughs> instead of using eye cream at night i like to use this it just gives an extra hydration under my eyes my under eyes i think are the driest of my whole face i don't know why because my eyelids are like super oily but my under eyes they're so dry and i saw on tiktok that you need to pat 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 it in girl i love this i wish this was my background <laughs> but i need to do makeup like i could also do standing up but i would need like another ring light look at that oof girl I don't have my like, glasses, so I'm using my viewfinder as my as my mirror, but looking good. Now I'm gonna go in with this. This is basically, I have here my CeraVe Be Moisturizer. I think this had the Kiehl's uh, face cream, and I just took the, I just recycled. You could always reuse, reduce, recycle, especially because I buy the CeraVe. Be. I think it's not the lotion, it's the cream. Like the big tub, I'll show you. Is this big boy? I don't like having this on my beautiful vanity, so I just put it in here. It's just easier, and then I just fill it up. But I take like a big, big amount, and I just lather it into my skin. I have super dry skin, so this is like a, a spa day. Oh my god. And this is just gonna lock in everything you just applied, even the back of my ears. I don't know why. Now, this step, I don't do it every single day, but I do do it a lot. And I go in with an oil. This is a Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All in One Face. If I don't do this step, which I'm gonna show you, I usually just add like three drops of this oil into the uh, Zero B Moisturizing Cream and just apply it all over my face. I love this oil, but what I don't understand about face oils is why they're so expensive. I think this was like $50, $60. I'm like, like, feel a little bit bigger and I cannot open it. Oh God. What I do is take like five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm just gonna rub it in in my skin, kind of warm it up and Pat it in. I like to do this specifically when my skin is a bit more dry. Specifically when it comes to um, like winter or anything. 
that just feels amazing. So I like to pat it in, pat it in. At night, I have more time to do my skincare routine. In the morning, I'm like running. Now I'm gonna go in with my washa. This is the washa's kit. Uh, my aunt, one of my aunts actually gave me this and I actually found it in Amazon. So I'm gonna link it down below, but you get different washa sizes. I mean, this one. It's a bit bigger. You have this like kind of squared one. You have this one. Oh, please don't break. <laughs> okay, and this one. This is like the original gua sha. What I do is just go here and just do it slowly. Very soft. Don't be, don't pull your skin a lot. And I do it like five times or six each side. It's very relaxing, especially when I'm very stressed after work. And this is what I mean with that, um, that face oils are expensive because when I go with a washer, I think it just removes it. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> that's my line. This is what I saw from, um, I think it was a Pinterest post that I saw how to do it. So, I mean, you can do it however you want. So relaxing. Then we're going to go in the eyebrow and go up. This really helps when oh, I'm stressed, like, girl, get off my back. <laughs> Especially here and then here. I'm just gonna go with this side and then go, ah! <laughs> then go up. And I don't know if this actually works to like sculpt your face, maybe? I mean, I've lost a lot of weight because of my surgery but I mean I still have this oh I saw that like this <laughs> then go like this there's so many different ways this I found on TikTok how you do it like girl go away I like to take like the big one just go here my neck oh, washa is amazing and I try to do this every day but sometimes I'm very lazy that's why I don't. Oh, this is very relaxing. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. Next is lip balm. Lip balm. I'm gonna go in with my favorite. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And look at this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm just surviving on what's left there. But I already have a new one ready to go. I have a lot of mini ones as well. I have one in my bag. I love this sleep sleeping mask. So last, I do need a mirror because I need to see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go in with my eyelash serum. This is by UK Lash. This is my favorite eyelash serum ever. I've tried like the super expensive ones, the super inexpensive ones, and this one doesn't dry my eyes. I don't feel them dry in the morning, especially because I use contacts. It's very important for me for my eyes not to be dry. So this one has been amazing. Of course, I get it from the UK and I have it in like the kind of subscription that it arrives every three months, every three months. So what I do is apply it to my lashes. And this has helped my lashes grow so much. They're stronger, they're better. All right. And I also like to apply some on my eyebrows, but I don't like to, like, I'm not gonna get like a $45 eyelash eyebrow serum. So I found this one from e.l.f. <laughs> I haven't tried it in my eyes because I do have sensitive eyes, so that's why I use that one but this one which was like i think four eight dollars i don't know i like to use for my eyebrows so i like to apply it to my eyebrows like so i mean i need to plug my eyebrows as well but girl like that i really get it in there and then like with a spoolie i just kind of disperse it all over the eyebrow also i don't like to go to sleep with ugly eyebrows and that's it usually i apply like a pimple thingamajiggy but right now we're looking pretty good i'm pretty impressed and for like the pimple patch or whatever you want to call it i use the star face this one 
I use Starface. I'm a big, big fan of Starface. I think I've tried many pimple patches. Uh, I don't get a lot of pimples uh, or acne or anything. I'm very thankful for that. I do have dry skin, but I don't get pimples only when it's that time of the month or when I'm stressed or if I'm wearing my, um, my face mask all day, I do get pimples, but it's very rare. And I do attack them before they come out totally with the star face. And they're great. Like I need to hide it from my sister and brother because look at that. And then, I, I mean, I buy mine from Target, but I also know that the Starface or website, they came out with different, they came out with different collaborations. I think right now they're doing their Valentine's Day, but this works. And yeah, that's my nighttime skincare routine. I am about to clean up my whole mess I did for my video and I'll see you tomorrow for the morning skincare routine. Uh... Good morning and welcome to my morning skincare routine. It's a bit early. No. All right, so in the morning, I don't wash my face. I just splash some cold water and then I put on my contacts so I can see. And then I come back to my room and start my skincare routine. First step, I use the serum. It's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I actually tried this. Uh, I got like a 500 point kind of little thing from Sephora and it had this and I'm obsessed with it. I went and I bought the full size. And it's such a great, um, such a great serum because it has that oil in it and it's just oh, so good. I just pat it, pat it, pat it on my skin. Like my skin's super dry and right now the weather here has been so crazy. It's been like cold. Some days it's cold, some days it's super windy. Some days it's there's sun but with like cold air and then some days it's just hot. And I'm like, girl, why? Why? I just put it in and it feels so nice. It just makes my skin like super plump and hydrated. But because I'm a bit crazy, I like to go with another serum. This is the Vichy Mineral 89. This is just like a hyaluronic acid serum. I just go like with a pump and a half. And this is just to furthermore hydrate. <laughs> Big fan when it comes to hydrating my face. Oh my god, it just feels so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. I have this one by Kiehl's. It's a creamy eye treatment. Like I said yesterday, I think the driest part of my entire face is my under eyes, so I do like to go in with an eye cream. I remember there was a time that uh, a lot of skincare, um, what would you call them, vloggers? I don't know, but they were saying that they think eye cream is just a waste of money. But I think it's just a special moisturizer for my under eyes because they're super, super dry. Just like that. And then I saw on TikTok that you need to pat it in. Why? I don't know. It says to pat it in. Oh my god, my alarm. So for moisturizer, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Uh, usually I just go in with either my Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. This is more of a gel. So it's a, li a little bit more lightweight on my skin. And I love this moisturizer. But I think today my skin still doesn't feel dry, but I want to hydrate. Furthermore, I'm going to use the Ordinary. This is a nat natural moisturizing factor. And then I just take like that. And a little goes a long way. I don't know how why. I'm just going to apply it all over my skin. Like I can take it to my neck. And still, my skin feels like super hydrated. Be gentle with your skin. Sometimes, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm on camera, so I'm being very gentle. But some mornings, it's just like bah, 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 all over my face. Last but not least, is my personal must and my skincare routine, and it's SPF. Um, I love SPF. I think it's super important, especially because in my family there has been a lot of people who have suffered from skin cancer. So I really take SPF very seriously and I do apply it every single day, even if I'm just going to be home. But my favorite brand, well, one of my favorite brands, it's Super Goop. I also have the Elta MD UV Clear 
uh, SPF. I just yesterday was the last drop of it. I just ordered one because I love that one. But today we're gonna use these two. Yes, we're gonna use two. So the first one, it's new to me. I've had it for like a couple of weeks and it's the Super Goop Daily Dose Hydra Ceramide Boost Plus SPF. As SPF 40 so what I do is this is essentially like my oil for the day but it has SPF and what I'm gonna do is take one two three four five five drops of that just warm it up on my hands and just pat it in I don't do this stuff every day but like I said this morning I just woke up bit stuffy and my skin feeling dry so this is why usually I just go in with other um, SPFs then I go in with this one this is a super goop unseen sunscreen I use this almost every day like oh my god I love this stuff so much I'm gonna take I could I don't know if you can see it like that much and this is essentially what I use as my primer also as <laughs> for my everyday makeup and I'm also protecting my skin. So, again, we pat. And I kinda go like that, take it down. But mainly pat, I don't wanna create any like little crumbs because sometimes that happens. It hasn't happened with this, but I need to be very careful. Then whatever is left, just apply it to the back of my hand. Okay, now last step, I to go in with my Laneige sleeping mask I use this every day and every night almost out like this is ridiculous <laughs> just apply it to my lips all right so that was today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also comment down below what other types of videos you would like to see you can also follow me on my social medias where I always leave right on this side and also in the description box below I'm also gonna list every product I use in the description box below so if you guys are interested in anything you can check it out and yeah hope you're having a great day I love you and I'll see you in the next one bye